Let's go over to the world of Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction Shares. Bottom line, folks, as you're over, at, you're on our website right now. Just hit that Direction banner. It'll bring you over there. And uh, I'm, I know we <laughs> we all trade quite a few of these shares, and uh, it's pretty cool what we have happening out here today. Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back. Hey, so tell me, you know, folks, when you go over here, let's all go over here because we're going to talk about uh, single stock futures. I mean, single stock ETFs, right? I see these two that you have pending, right, Dave? So yeah, that's correct. So um, we uh, we have filed for and are uh, planning to to launch uh, uh, leveraged and inverse ETFs on the single stocks of Tesla and Apple. Okay. And uh, as with our, our other leveraged inverse ETFs, these are tools for tactical traders. Right. right. These right. Are tools for uh, if you don't have the ability to monitor these positions, stay away. If you're interested in learning more, tune into to this show, visit our website. But with, they're structured the same way, but, but it's a big innovation because it's just applying that leverage one and a half times right. on the bull side to Tesla and Apple and then one times on the bear side. Um, for for again for Tesla and Apple, and we're excited to be able to bring these to market because, as we know, you know this is a unique market environment, and uh, folks are expressing opinions because of the increase in volatility on you know two of the most heavily traded names uh, in, in in global equity markets. Yes, no, I see that. So that's intriguing. So you, you you're going to have the 1.5 times Tesla and Apple on the bull side, but only one on the bear side, right? Correct. Yeah. So the bear, the way to think about the bear products, and we've talked about our fun SPDN before, which is a yes. inverse one X on the S and P five hundred. Right. That, that's really a hedging tool, right? So okay. Let's say we are, you know, uh, when Apple reported earnings or Tesla. Oh, or nice. Or, okay. Right? Yeah. You yeah. Can, right. Right. And Good. you don't want to sell your long. Right? right. Maybe you have. Maybe you love. You, you are a believer. Right. Right. And, and you own a Tesla, and you, uh, you've owned the stock forever, and you believe in, in what what. Uh, Elon Musk and everyone is doing. Sure, but you're concerned about volatility, right? And right. Maybe uh, you know trading options, especially on Tesla, can be very expensive. Oh yeah, big time. Right. So you can use this fund as your short-term tactical hedge, and the same can be said about Apple. And the bull funds, yeah, those are just more kind of upside exposures. But yeah, I think about the bear funds, like any bear fund, as especially during earnings season or other times. Um, let's say there's, we know there's going to be some news announcement. That can be a hedge for you. You know what's so great about these folks, okay, is that what happens still, and I don't quite understand this regulatory-wise how this works, Dave, but we still have plenty of folks that, you know, that if they buy or sell something, they can't buy it back, like, for a couple of days or something, right? So this is really cool, like what David just saying, folks, okay, if you have an Apple or you have a Tesla and they're coming out with numbers, the bottom line is that, you don't have to sell anything, okay? If you, you, you just, you'll get the single bear just to stay delta neutral. And delta neutral just means that you're not going to make any money or lose any money. That, I mean, that's, you know, well, let's put it this way, when the trade's on. That's really cool, Dave, man. Because I, I, I was trying to figure out the bear one. I said, why would you do a one-to-one? -one? But that totally makes sense because the way account struck, accounts are set up, actually. Do you know what I'm saying? I get it. Wow, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, no, I know. Exactly. To your point, a lot of folks, um, you know, set us, uh, whether the firm they work on, if, they're, if they work in financial services or just or just elsewhere, are restricted in trading as frequently um, as, as they may like. Um, yes. So these can be, these or are not even outright allowed to trade futures or options. Now, plenty of people tuning in today say, I, I have no issues with that, what have you. But there are also many that do. So, they, no, really there good. are. I know there are because when you know we do a lot of trades, and what happens is that if someone gets out of one, they can't get right back in one. So uh, you know, I, I understand that too. And then the aspect of the one and a half is really cool because there's plenty of people that that don't really you know trade higher leverage products. Okay, so a one and a half is pretty cool, and both of those stocks, of course, are highly volatile. So that's that's going to be interesting, man. So do you plan on? Are, are you is is the industry in general looking for like the you know because both of these stocks i would say are at the top bracket inside the marketplace right are there going to be more top bracket equities like this that you suspect that you're going to be filing on yeah we fi we filed for a handful of others but really you know the focus is going to be on the largest most liquid stocks right, right? So 
Right. Think about your top five in the NASDAQ, top five in the S&P 500 or top 10. Sure. Uh, and, and that's really the idea here. So we are excited to, to further bring um, uh, really bring some groundbreaking innovation in the ETF space, particularly for traders, uh, because you know, ETFs are, to me, the vehicle is very powerful. They can be your best long-term holdings yep. in a set it and forget it portfolio, but they also can be really some of the best tools for you if you're interested in that tactical trading and have the ability to make those buy, sell, and hold decisions frequently. Isn't it amazing that, you know, when you, in life in general, folks, all this stuff's been in front of us and you think that everything's discovered and then all of a sudden you realize that, oh, here's the next thing, right? I mean, it's it's true. It's And I, th I think this one and a half is really gonna be great for a lot of people because of the fact, as you just said, the option, you know, it, for some reason, people really don't put enough work into the options. They really understand them, so they better stay away from them. And the leverage here, another 50%, is not bad, and it's actually great for someone that does want that leverage. Well, listen, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking there next week, Dave. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.